Hello. Once again, another sea cucumber update. So, things have been going uh, pretty well with the sea cucumber. I'm uh, getting pretty close to baking the thing. I know I keep saying that, right? But I think uh, I really am getting close. The face, uh, I'll get a little closer here. Face is, um, I think the detail on the face I'm starting to get happy with. I don't know if you can see some of the closer details up there, but uh, anyway, it's a little sad now, kind of, you know, like most of my sculptures, a little, a little bit of creepy yet endearingness, or you know, uh, but anyway, this guy, I'm, I'm happy with the teeth, kind of, heck with the face, stuck tools in behind the eyes to bulk them out a little bit, now I'm working on the... The mane, so you can see it with little worm, wormies there, and uh, maybe can you see the, yeah, a little bit of detail on the nipples there, or fingers, whatever they are, arters, who those things are, and um, oh yeah, I'm back in my garage, or should I say my parents' garage, because it's their house. Uh, but back in the uh, back in the garage, and did some some spring cleaning in here. So you've probably seen before. I've had to uh, separate my writing area from my art area because I keep jumping back and forth between the two. I mean, it's not going to stop me from doing drawings. Oh, here we go. Has the uh, see it's raining out, but uh, no longer leaking because I finally got the some cement down there uh, in the doorway. I don't know if you can see that. Fresh cement there, but just a little bit of a bevel here. And uh, so that the door, when it comes down, um, basically blocks it off. You know, there's a big gap there, as you can see right here. The gap, you know, and now that's gone. So no more leaking, no more having to fuss with throwing shit up against it to uh, stop the leaking. Sucking water out with the shop vac every single time it rains heavy. So, uh, yeah, been busy. Been busy. Uh, writing, uh, uh, and, you know, for the bestiary, as well as uh, been slowing down the illustrating and working more on the, the sculpture here because I want to get it. I'm going to soon, once I get this mane done, the face is basically done, I can always throw a little more clay on after I cook it, like I've said before. Um, but I need to, uh, I need to start baking it. Probably not the whole body, because that will be, I don't want it to crack and stuff while I'm moving it around. Uh, it's more vulnerable, right? Um, but the face for sure and everything around this area should be baked and then, uh, not painted, and then I can just start, you know, doing a little bit of here and there, detailing with, uh, with extra clay if need be. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the face now. Let's get a little closer again. Here. He's getting, he's got a cute, he's, he's different from, from past incarnations of the sea cucumber, but I don't mind that, you know what I mean? Each, uh, it's like evol an evolving creature, you know? Uh, perhaps the sea cucumber itself does really evolve. And here, here's the rest of the stuff on my desk here. Remember this guy? Supposed to, supposed to finish this thing. But, uh, nah, no, not worked on that for a while. That'll be the next project, sculpture project after the sea cucumber. But that's, I mean, I worked pretty far along on that, so it's getting there as well. But anyway, yeah, I uh, hope, uh, hope you're all doing well, and thanks for tuning in again. And I don't think there's anything else, just, you know, it's well on its way. And, uh, oh yeah, happy Easter if you're celebrating. Um, and seeing family. Hope you have uh, a good weekend. All right, well, thanks again, folks. See you later.